Good morning, good morning, everybody. We are back. We are back. The show is called TBR SF Show, which simply means the Big R Solution Sports Forum. Like Tabino says, it says Tabiso uh, Benedict Ramo Happy. <laughs> 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 that's what it's called, the TBR. So that's my show. Uh, that's that's Tabio's show. Okay, guys, uh, we are back, and then uh, as usual, we are going to look what is happening. We are happy that football is back, um, because football is back. Then we are going to enjoy ourselves, and it's happening. It's happening uh, today. We have got, we've got so many games. We've got Pirates Royal AM tomorrow. It's Mamluri Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. What a big one! What a big one! But Pirates and Royal AM is also a big one because you'll see the league how it stands like. Now, let's see what's happening. Let me start here. You know, as usual, Saddam will give us the news. <clears throat> They'll be going to Cape Town this coming weekend, and then they're playing Cape Town City. And then the transport fee is 1,200. I'm from Mahala, isn't it, Sadaf? <laughs> I'm from Mahala. I'm from Mahala. I'm from Mahala, Sadaf. You know, I see that you have featured your Kappa people there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So they'll be moving from they'll be moving from the Swazi Inn, uh, BP Garage. Uh, let, let me finish up, Sadaf, because I'm watching the time. Let me wrap up these things. We'll talk a little bit later. Transport will leave from Swazi in BP Garage, and then uh, uh, on the 11th at 12 o'clock, and then uh, it's a return. So, yeah, you can try to do that and support them. And then, uh, yeah, there's also uh, tomorrow's game. If you want to go there, it's 120. Ambro Mahala, as Saddam says, Swazi Inn, as always, is the departure area, BP Garage, and then they'll be leaving from 9, 9 in the morning, uh, between 9 and 1, so they'll be leaving. They're not going far, they're going to Lugas Masterpieces Maripe. Right, uh, Saddam, welcome to the show, kindly greet the viewers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, to uh, you comrade Taviso and Sheikh, we say hello to the Listeners, thank you. Mshaga is not here, unfortunately. So probably he's busy with his co usual commitments of the boy. Uh, Tabinho, Pagajuju, up the box. <laughs> How are you? I'm good and self. You know what? I was impressed this time. You didn't disappear. I didn't hear you going to free state <laughs> funeral exams. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, I, I saw you showing the face in the group, irrespective of the heat. But well done, well done, well done. <laughs> no, but champ champions don't hide. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Always show up. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just greet the viewers. Let's get started. Morning to the viewers. Morning, Sada. Morning, Brasovri. Like always, it's an honor and a privilege to be on the show. Yeah, no, Mshega says he'll be joining us in 10 minutes. So. At least uh, we'll have somebody to represent Sundowns. Uh, and then, uh, uh, what's his name? Sepang says he's trying to fix his Wi Fi. And then, uh, so we'll see what's going to happen. Let me just respond to them quickly. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, guys, today, Orlando Pirates, Real AM. That's the first topic that I want us to discuss. But before we go there, let me give you the fixture for this week. I hope you can see this. Tabiki Tab, Tab, hasn't done a good job. I hope you can see mm -hmm. uh, a little bit. Um, the writing is not uh, perfect. Can you see? Much better. Yeah, yeah. Richard Bay is playing Golden Arrows today at 5 o'clock. I'm a Pagani, a Pagaju, they play Royal AM at half past seven today. Tomorrow is Swilos, uh, Dinonia. They are playing Cape Town uh, City. And then uh, Mamluri Sundowns are playing Kaiser Chiefs. Amazuli, they are playing Super Sport. And Chipa United, they are playing TS Galaxy. And then Pulukone City, they are playing Stellenbosch. And then Cape Town Spurs, they are playing Skukune FC. And then on the 18th, Royal AM are playing Stellenbosch, Chiba United are playing Orlando Pirates. So, uh, Tabinho, they are coming thick and fast. <laughs> eh? Now, yeah. uh, now, before I go there, let me just look at the lock. Are we 
We should we should get worried about the lock. Let's watch the lock. Here we are. Where here is you, uh, Tabino? You are at number fifteen. Uh, Saddam, Umola got number ten. You know, uh, and it's unusual. Yeah. Chiefs and Pirates they are always up there. Today, who's up? Yeah, but... United and Mamlodi Sundowns. Yes, Tabino, what did? Yeah. I... Yeah, but sorry, um, you know, like I posted in the group, I'm a bit worried with Super Sport and Sundown sitting on top mm. because once they sit there, it will be a mission to remove them. Mm. So the biggest task that <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs and, and, and Orlando Pirates have is not to remove the two mm. from the positions. I, I, I look at them as pace setters now, mm. but I think Pirates and, 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 and Sundown and, and, and Kaiser Chiefs rather have a task of of you know uh, being there on top at least occupy three and four and monitor those uh pace setters they need to keep up with the pace so you know, are coming yeah. to the party. no problem you know what one day i want us to look at the rise of football in america and saudi arabia and my question is why are we left behind mm. that's a personal question but we'll discuss that because if you look at saudi arabia Football is taking another level. Well, America, Messi has just boosted them to a unprecedented level. All right, but uh, we, can, we can do that. We can do that. You know, I always argue and say, African players before they can go overseas, they must start here. I'm a little bit worried, but we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Okay. Now let's look at Royal AM and Orlando Pirates. Uh, yeah, before we go there, uh, yeah. let me go on the on the log there. Yeah. Uh, we, we know it's too early about the league. Yes, it's too early. Uh, the team started, uh, the friendly is gone. Now, uh, the position that uh, Chiefs and Pirates are is not good. But the Nagana Hanare, uh, as a neighbors, mm. the little, the major, no, he must win the game like today. He must mm. win the game tonight. So I can also win. You can't be over in the neighbors here how we will get back on. I can't go up and see that I see my neighbor. For me to draw, no, you're not for going, me to draw, you're not going up, I want, I, I want to make sure my, my neighbor next to me because it's very shameful. What will happen if they say uh, uh, PSL collapse today or close? It's going to go to uh, 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 the, the uh, what do you call it? Relegation or yeah. maybe off because the way it is now is yeah. bad. But the yeah. hard work jokes are yes, it's not a good position. But the reality, children, Paris supposed to be up. The yeah. Let's yeah. see, Paris, please, Tariso, give me motivation today and do something at Orlando. I can do something tomorrow because I can't leave you behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always good. Tabito, come in. Ah, Let's start yeah. with Orlando Pirates. When, yeah, you, look, uh, when you look at Pirates, mm. Rivero, I think he's doing a good job. He cannot yeah, be good. a just bad coach just with one or two games. Now tell me what, what's your take. Look, um, Brasovri, I watched that game. And, you know, sitting and looking at the game, I said, you know, Stelis have got a good game plan. Um, Stelis were not there to play. They were there to stop Pirates from playing and catch them on the break and their plan work for them okay um they caught pirates on the, on, on, <laughs> on on a counter and but 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 if you look at you know the entire game stelis were not there to be found going to the royal am game but also um uh and and i know i know it, like you know like saddam have said it's early days there's nothing mm. like early days in, in, in football mm. i've watched how gavin hunt wins the game uh, the, the league. He wins the league in the first round. He collects mm. maximum points as much as he can because he knows second round. It's difficult. People want to qualify for top eight. People want to mm. avoid the mm. Mm. So, Kevin Hunt, if you can look, he wins the league in the first round. So, don't say it's early to reach or because we are going to make things difficult for ourselves because we are saying it's early. Mm. What I'm saying is with, with, with regards to today's game, uh, unfortunately, they always go to. Mm. Uh, Real AM is in serious trouble. I've watched Orlando Pirates play. Um, you know, I, I, I still need to see Lepasa. Mm. And with the game against Stelis, I understand it because 
Stellenbosch, like I said, they were there to stop pirates from playing. So they cut the supply. So the mm. Pasa didn't have enough supply. Mm. Uh, like you said, um, Coach Riviero cannot be a bad coach overnight. Mm. Um, he had a very good plan against Stellenbosch, but he couldn't break that defense. Mm. I4. Mm-hmm. So Royal AM will be coming to a scrutiny. I mm-hmm. can tell you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm not in a panic <clears throat> mode. Um, I'm wearing my tail, you know, like a, an excited puppy. Mm-hmm. So I know today we're going to get the results. Two one, it is Orlando Pirates. Now you know what? Um, I want you to say this. I've said this about Salim. Sometimes, like the last game, he was not there. He was dead. They yeah. closed him. You know, and I look at Salim, that is why I say people should not put too much pressure, all right, on players like Salim, Mailula, by comparing them <laughs> to people like Jomo, Ace, mm. Dr. Kumalo. Those guys, they will be on form for the rest of the season. You I can't count, special you count one or two games where they are off form. The current players, sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off. So it doesn't help to put pressure and compare them with those players. Those players, I think there was something else. They were, you know what, we still want to see our players coming to that level. You know your drum or your ace, your teenage, your doggy, see, they were like the messes of today. Who, those are special breeds. Who just ran all the way on form. Saddam, come in. Uh, what, what's your take? What do you think uh, about Pirates? Is it Rivero did change too much squad against uh, Stelis? And what was the reason of changing? Was he probably resting other players or there were injuries? What's your take? No, I think Pirates, uh, when I see against Stelis, they were trying to put together, remember, they went to uh, Spain Mm-hmm. Squatter came to a friendly mm-hmm. game. But when they come back, oh, they, were came. To, <laughs> they were trying to make sure they must not get injury yeah. and then they want to put themselves on the good position because from playing outside, mm-hmm. when you come back, it's something else. So maybe they were trying to put something together. We can talk about that, but tonight, not sure about that change uh, something to make better because they were welcome. They were welcome there. Yeah. The pirates welcomed them and they were trying to put everything together because they were away. Let's give them a chance for tonight. Mara Grata Hour in the Baile Spain goes quarter camp. Maloga is a big city in Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saddam is quarter camp. Now, Saddam. If you look at Pirates, who who do you think will will will, will bring that win for Pirates? And then well, no, don't don't, to... don't say it because you hate Pirates. No, say it because you are watching the game. No, what I can see, uh, Pirates uh, they must click together and go back to because when Pirates left, when we closed the season, Pirates mm. was hot. If the Sundown didn't collect the point early, mm. uh, Sund- uh, Pirates and Super Sport, they were going to overtake them. Pirates was hot in the last minutes when we closed the mm-hmm. But now I think they try to put their combination uh, together. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. now, uh, as we say, we must not put pressure on Saleh. Let's give another one a chance because now uh, it's a new season and our players for now. Remember, Ali, a man of the match this week, next week mm-hmm. is out. Always mm-hmm. like that because media can take you higher and take you down. This is mm-hmm. going to be careful. Mm-hmm. But You're right. I think you're right. Yes. I, I see mm-hmm. different tutus and tutus is struggling now. Yes, you see, mm-hmm. he was trying, but uh, here's a crowd, here's the supporters, uh, mm-hmm. here's a coach, yes, and then that's why we said they must relax and bring their talent right mm-hmm. and uh, respect their job. We as supporters can be a top players to motivate them, not to tell them to score, but we need a result. But at the end of the day, let's not be harsh to them. They're still young. So mm-hmm. maybe today we'll see a uh, good saline against Royal AM. You know what? Uh, I respect Rivero. You know, this coach is so quiet and he does his, his work being quiet, start making noise without being hysterical. 
so the guy can read the game very well. Now let's move on, guys. Uh, let's look at um, uh, Amakosi and Mamelodi Sundowns. You know what? I don't know. You read what I read. The rivalry, yes, it's between Pirates and Sun and, and Chiefs, but the new rivalry is between Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. Mm -hmm. You may deny it. You may say these two teams they hate each other, <laughs> even up to the upper level. That, that's me. That's my observation. I'm entitled to my observation. I may be wrong. I may be right. Mm -hmm. So when the two teams meet, you know what? The grass suffers. So now they are playing tomorrow at three o'clock, as you can see here. So what's your take? Now, let me start with you, uh, Tabino. Because I would have loved Mushegu <laughs> here, but he said he's going to join us. Mm -hmm. If you give us the analysis, what's your take? Who's going to be come on top between the two teams? Okay, but I think we said I was on the road. I didn't, I didn't watch the Kings of Chiefs match, but um, I was able to check the highlights. Mm, mm. Um, uh, 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 fortunately, I made enough time to watch the Sundowns game, but I need to 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 emphasize that you know Sundowns will still be unstoppable this this season. Mm. Um, you know, I watched the the pace of that game on mm. Friday. Mm. Wow, wow, that game was too quick. Mm. And watching the highlights of Kaiser Chiefs, I'm not sure if they'll be able to match, you know, that pace, or they will keep up with the pace. Uh, Saddam, I'm, I'm, I'm not using my heart here. I'm using my head. Okay. Mm. Uh, nothing against Kaiser Chiefs, but um, look, the best result Kaiser Chiefs will get is a draw. I don't see them winning against Sundowns. You know, uh, I heard Rulani yesterday uh, in the press conference mentioning that they have played three, three types formation. Then he said his friend from overseas who's somehow involved in some technical arrangement or technical stuff in one of the top teams, said, I don't understand what system are you playing? He said, that is the reason we want to confuse. We don't want people to prepare for us. And then, um, so yeah, let's watch the space. Saddam, what are you saying? And uh, on top of that, having look at Kaiser Chiefs, I've seen that game of Kaiser Chiefs, and I'll give you my opinion. How did I see the game? Saddam, come in. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I think the game for Chiefs was better than before when I see. And then even at the back, I say, what would you talk about? They play well. And then it's just a minus of a finishing goal, strike force. And then we play well. I say about no, something is coming. But when you talk about sundown and uh, game tomorrow, Sundown, the, the, the goals was not considered and it was really nice, you know, it was a penalty, it was what, what, but the result is better. We throw, not, not, but the Aguato, Sundown and Chiefs is always something, like mm. you say, Sundown, uh, uh, Chiefs and Pirates. Mm. But uh, let me tell you, all the Pirates supporters, they're going to support KJ Chiefs. I'm telling you tonight, even uh, Tavisa himself is going to support us. But Chiefs <laughs> is going to surprise everybody to, uh, uh, tomorrow because Sundown uh, doesn't beat uh, uh, Chiefs like that so easy. We, well, they beat us with our own mistake. But now, what I saw on, uh, in the in Devon, something is coming. They are not in the game, they are cooking something because the player there, Combination is coming okay, then mm. we are just willing to score goals because Robert Akopi, Rokolodi Kohulikmonele, Saili was playing good, but hey, never mind, but Ravi didn't get give a voucher. I'm sure Nasnaz already voucher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want you, uh, uh, Tobinio, to agree with me. Our uh, pirates, they're going to support Chiefs for this week, not for just 90 minutes to stop Sandow. Can you <laughs> assist us? Hey, Sandow, skip this. But let me be serious. You know, when I watch Chiefs, that Castillo boy is good. He's a gem in the middle of the park. You know, he reminds me of uh, NS Chirwali, although he's not at the level of NS Chirwali. NS Chirwali is still at a higher level. 
but compared to well that's my opinion don't kill me for that i have an opinion that's too awesome. um but the, what i saw about castillo the boy is gonna be he's gonna stabilize that midfield you know what i like about him he doesn't hold the ball <laughs> you know jomo would say why are you running when why are you running with the ball because the ball is faster than you release the ball and when I watch Messi all the time, Messi makes it easy. Gets the ball, he releases. Gets the ball, he releases. All right. So our players, they want to run with the ball. They want to complicate things. And then uh, for me, it was a good decision for Siteve not to play because sometimes Siteve will get the ball and take them back. And at the back, as you said, Msimango stabilized that defense. And the talk went. They were very, very good. And remember, that was your problem, backline. You know, and you would score own goals. You would create so many problems. And then I, I start to get worried when I hear some chief supporters starting to call for the head of uh, uh, Nzeki. Mm -hmm. No, guys, I don't know. How, mm -hmm. how, how, how are you? All the time you want to change coaches. Give this guy a chance, all right? Support and take it, 100%, all right? And then just like Rivero, you know, Rivero said, I don't want to talk. People were calling him uh, Plamba and all. They said, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to talk, but the work will prove itself. So that's, that's my opinion. And then let the best team win today and tomorrow. And we'll see uh, where he's going to go. But if you ask me, we need the big teams in our football, just like any other mm -hmm. parts of the world. We need Pirates, we need Sundowns, we need uh, uh, Chiefs, we need uh, Swallows, we need big teams. This is how you build the, 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 the football, all right? But it doesn't mean that I don't like Chippa. Chippa, they're playing a very good football, I saw. You know what? We can say whatever that we say. Chippa and Pengesi can recruit good players. Um, so we can say whatever we say. And you can fire coaches. But uh, if you look at the football that they play, they always play a nice football. You look at Cape Town uh, City, they play a nice football. Like you said, Gavin Hunt, uh, we don't disregard those things. So <clears throat> that's my opinion for today. And then, uh, guys, uh, I just want to move on. And then with because I see that Mshek is not coming in. Uh, but we are happy that we are back. Uh, with our local games again. So we are so happy that everything is back again. And then uh, I just want to share something. I don't know whether football is about money or what, uh, or uh, what's happening, because uh, I'm looking at um, teams that are spending money uh, in football, all right? And then they do well. So I don't know. Um, I just want to find out, is it about money or what? Uh, what's your take, uh, Tabinho? Is it about money or what, football? Uh, let, uh, let, let me quote, let me quote one, one, one son of the soil. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Muta, he said, you know, uh, it's a family business. Football is a business. Mm. Um, you invest and expect, you know, uh, returns in investment. Um, you mentioned the fact that teams that spend a lot of money are doing well. Um, I'm a big Chelsea fan. Mm. Uh, I follow Man City. Uh, lately, I'm monitoring Newcastle because mm. remember the owners of Newcastle are richer than the owners of, of Man City and, mm. and, 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 and Chelsea. Mm. And you look at Newcastle, when they took over Newcastle, Newcastle, I think, was in position 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. But they finish in in, in, in in the qualifying spot, I think, in the, in, in the top four. Mm -hmm. So it simply tells you that money can buy you happiness sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, in football, I agree, money makes a huge difference. If you have happy players who are well taken care of, who are well paid, then you're going to get the result. I'm saying this because look here, uh, Man United, I mean, uh, Man United have spent a three... 196 million euros, whereas uh, Liverpool have spent 356 million euros. And then uh, now when you look at the glories, uh, so far Liverpool has has better glory. They've won the Champions League and then they've done well. 
and then Man United are still struggling, but this is the money that they spend. I don't know whether this will translate into cash. Um, that is why I was bringing that subject. Now, let me move on to the Messi special as usual. I don't know whether you saw, you know what? <clears throat> Messi has transformed football in America. I am one of those people now uh, subscribing now to uh, Able <laughs> so that I can watch the games. Uh, no matter what, people follow players, no more uh, teams. Uh, that, is, <laughs> that is why in, 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 in Saudi Arabia, they were buying your Ronaldo and all that. You know, this was a shock to me, seeing it coming from uh, Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos, all the time, you know, the Real Madrid players and Man United, they would try by all means not to support Messi. But this time, he has just accepted. Uh, because this, for me, it was an acceptance by, by Roberto Carlos. He said the difference between Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo is that Argentina, the Argentina uh, made a team and that was less than Ajax or Inter at the time. He took them out several times, European champions, with triplets and six tablets, including as well as many leagues. Cristiano Ronaldo has gone, has already gone to a big club that used to win titles. Messi made Barcelona great, and Madrid made Cristiano Ronaldo great. Now, Barcelona without Messi is suffering to win big titles. Madrid without Cristiano Ronaldo continues to win Champions League. Uh, the most def defining player has always been Leo Messi. So uh, seeing this from Roberto Carlos, it was shocking. And listen to what, uh, yeah. yeah, listen to what Tim Cook is, one of the greatest CEO of all time, as far as I'm concerned, because when Steve Jobs departed, you know, we thought that April would go down. Instead, April is still there on top. And remember, this guy was identified by Steve Jobs. He said, you go and look for this guy. I think he's from England. And this guy should take over from me. Then Tim Cook said, the fact that Messi went to Inter Miami helped us. <clears throat> we are beating our expectation in terms of subscribers, Apple TV. We are very excited about Messi's move. This man has transformed football completely. And then uh, whether you like it or not, uh, you know what? At some point, you'll have to accept. They say they have increased uh, their subscribers on uh, uh, Instagram. 11 million subscribers. They beat, you know, uh, NFL, MLB, NHL teams. So this guy, and then they beat them combined. <laughs> In American region, South, Latin, uh, Latin Central, North, Inter Miami has already become, <clears throat> yes, Shakes, has already become uh, the second most followed account only behind Flamingo. You know Flamingo in, in Brazil? The mm -hmm. team is huge. Yeah. Flamingo, they said they have got about, uh, how many, 1.8 million followers? It's the biggest team in the world, Flamingo. All right? And then, uh, yeah, so this man has just transformed football. Welcome, Shege. I'll allow you to speak about sundowns. I know you want to speak about sundowns. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah, so that's, we're doing the message special, but I want to you to come in to talk about uh, uh, Mamluri Sundowns. How do you see the game uh, of Mamluri Sundowns and, and Kaiser Chiefs uh, tomorrow, Mshege? I want your analysis uh, so that you talk as the last input. Yeah, Prasobri, thanks for having me on the show. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> ah, Prasobri, it's so good. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Strong. Huh? Yeah, Carlin, too. Strong. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, 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 Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, Carlin, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. No press up. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, it's a big game tomorrow, obviously, uh, uh, playing against Kaiser Chiefs. And uh, yeah, judging from our previous game, we're not yet 
that fluidity is not there yet because it's the first game of the season. You can expect it with the new play signings that we have to to introduce. But uh, uh, I've seen a lot of good things, especially from 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 our new signings, and I'm looking forward to to tomorrow's game. You you know, Brasobri, even though we won't be playing it at at uh, Loftus, which is 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 our is normally our our home ground. <coughs> it's a bigger pitch. Um, um, uh, Lucas Moripe is, is is a smaller pitch, so uh, um, not it's not gonna be the same fluidity, I think, as as, as Sundowns can always play. But uh, I'm still uh, looking forward to three points from Saddam. Ah, Mshaga, you know, what? Mshaga, you have said it mouthful. Uh, out of seven games that you played in uh, uh, Lucas Moripe. I think you won only one, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a hoodoo ground for you. Uh, yeah. So, and 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 I must say, you know, the more I listen to Rulani, the more I respect Rulani in terms of the understanding of football. He's very young, you know. Rulani is very young, you know. Uh, I don't think he is much older than my my firstborn. He's, he's very young, but the understanding of football, you know, I listened to him when he said. We're running short of four, five position, and we fill them up, and then but we still need one. You know, this is the understanding that you need to have in terms of your team. Know very well, and I hear him said in two weeks' time Abu Bakr will be coming. Do you know what? I was worried what's happening, and I got the news that he has been he's gonna be sold and all that because I think it was a gem. What do you want to say about that, Tim Shager? Yeah, uh, Abu Bakr is a big part of the the team, Prasobri. Even though um, um, uh, he had a lot of needles uh, uh, with, with injury, but we still believe in him as a quality player, and uh, and and yeah, we need him in the team. So with him uh, back, we we should uh, probably uh, be be ready, you know, to to because it's gonna be a long season as well, Prasobri. You must understand. Mm -hmm. you, the, the Super Cup, you know, you've got all these uh, competitions going on, mm -hmm. so it's going to be big. We're going to need all these players on board. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for you, especially you're going to play on Africa Super Cup. It's gonna be very very tough. So many games are coming, guys. Thank you yeah. very much. I really appreciate. But before I leave, I want to remind people that we are a financial company. This coming Friday, I'll be interviewing uh, the ombudsman for GPF, you know, I'm working with GPF, uh, advocate uh, uh, Ramabulane uh, Makado. You'll be my guest. You'll be telling people about uh, which are the complaints that they should lodge with the ombudsman, uh, his office, and then how far have they gone? And we hear the news that uh, uh, people are now encouraged to borrow money. There is a bill, in fact, people must comment to borrow money from their pension so that they can sort out their problems. He's going to give us more news about that. If people want to give us questions so that we can ask him, because it's important to ask those questions and understand, drop us a WhatsApp. You'll see the numbers at the end of the show. Drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll ask uh, uh, the advocate so that he can answer. And don't forget, we are helping all those members who are working for the government, who are 55 and above, who wants to leave. Remember, people think that if they leave, not think, it's, it's a reality. If they leave earlier than 60, they'll be penalized. But we can show them how to navigate in a legal way. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mshege. Bid the viewers farewell. And then uh, after that, Saddam, you follow. And then Tabino, you follow. Mshege? Thank you. Thank you, Prasovri, yeah. for having on, me on my show and my colleagues there. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Prasobri, and my colleagues there, Saddam and uh, uh, Tabinho. Hey, it was a rough start, but I am sure they will come back, Prasobri. Yeah, Tabinho said this show is his because he's Tabisho, is Tabinho, uh, Benendit, Ramuapi, TBR. <laughs> Tabinho, beat them farewell, farewell please. <laughs> Uh, thanks to my colleagues, uh, Saddam and uh, Shay, and thanks for having me on the show, Brasobri.
Uh, Saddam, no hard feelings. Uh, the best result you get tomorrow is a draw. I don't see you winning against Sundown. Uh, Saddam, yeah, Saddam, 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 bow, 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 back in this one, I'm not going to go. Come here. Yeah, now I can see uh, Minyas and Minyolosto together in a guy. I want a combination. No, no. <laughs> Savijo is supposed to say, uh, let's stop this issue of sundown to dominate to work here, sir. So I can't do that alone. I need some pilots to assist me because tomorrow, when we talk now, Mm -hmm. Oh, is doing well. Sundown is doing well. We as a water giant, we supposed to do the same. When I uh, tell you, you supposed to say win tomorrow. Do we need to get the rebound? Give me the four point. Do I know win? You must start winning. Don't the rebound plan get away at sundown. So we're not going to. We're going to scare them away. Chief is going to win tomorrow. And uh, good luck to Paris tonight. Sorry, Shakes. Uh, the more problem, you know. But I'm going to call it my papa is coming in 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 uh 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 Swani. It's over Kappa, so the result will be good, thank you very much. But Nagina no retaminio time alena Rohono solve this issue about uh shall we leave. But where's a guess quite where's a guess quite a camps ago Spain? Mshege, Utabino said he's afraid when he sees sundowns and super sport on top, they said. It's going to be difficult to remove them. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.